Hi, Ken here again. Um, here is about where we left off in the last video with our outside building here. A um, few changes that I made that I wanted to point out. Um, let's select our awning here, go into uh, side view in uh, orthographic mode. Whoops. And if we center on our awning there, you'll notice that we can see it now from straight on. And that is because um, I have added a solidify modifier uh, to this object. Now, you'll notice if we turn it off and we deselect it, uh, it disappears altogether. You can't see it because it has no dimension in, in this direction. If we turn it, we can see that it's still there. Um, so I want to point out that that is what the solidify modifier uh, does. Ooh, let me see if I can get back there. Okay. Let me turn the solidify modifier back on, and you can see that it just adds a little bit of thickness to uh, to your object. If you go into edit mode, you can see our original mesh is still here, uh, but this is the result of the solidify modifier. I believe I left everything at the default, um, but you can you, know, you can make it as thick as you want. There's all kinds of uh, different settings in there that you can play with. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, I guess I can't uh, control Z that, but no big deal. Put it back down about where it was. <clears throat> All right. So, so that's the awning there. Now the other. Let me zoom out here. The other thing that I did is I added a little detail to the roof line here. Uh, if we go back into object mode and pick that object and go into edit mode. Um, you can see that that object is basically a cylinder um, that's had the bottom half cut off and uh, an extrusion on the end here. Now I also added the solidify modifier to this object, but then I applied it in object mode. So now the, um, the uh, result of the modifier becomes an actual part of the mesh, an actual real part of the mesh. Um, I also added a subsurf modifier to this object to kind of give it a more rounded off uh, look. And then I added uh, the array modifier um, and I just uh, gave it enough instances uh, until it went down to the end of the building. Um, I think from street level down here that looks like a pretty, a pretty good uh, addition to the building. It adds, I think, a little bit of, of interest to it. And if you look at the um, reference photo up here, you'll see that it looks like there's something like, like that up on the roof here. Um, the only other thing I did, let me see. On the door here, let me see, I think I put it on another layer. There it is. Oops. Um, yeah, on the door, I added a uh, simple door handle and uh, just a lock above here. Uh, the door handle is just a, uh, a cylinder that's been extruded and bended, you know, uh, was bent around the corner and uh, scaled out on the ends just a little bit. And the lock is just a cylinder. Um, did I put a, yeah, I put a subsurf on these objects and I just sharpened up the edge of the, the cylinder there so that it, uh, Looks a little more sharp on the edge. Um, don't need a lot of detail on those because from far away, where we're going to be looking at it, um, won't really see it that much. But it will it will show that there is something on the door. I think without it, it looks plain and kind of strange that there's no doorknob, no, no door handle. Now um, I toyed around with the idea of modeling the uh, second building, the one that uh, was sitting over here the same way that we did the first one with individual videos and then I thought well it's mostly the same techniques uh, that we've already seen and so I thought maybe I will uh, make a time lapse but watching all my you know going back and forth you can see some of the objects from that other building um, but watching all my going back and forth and trying things and undoing and redoing and changing the shape of the windows and um, I don't know. It, it, I didn't think it was very interesting. So I went ahead and 
uh, I modeled that building. Uh, let me see, there it is. Using the same uh, techniques that we did with the first one, uh, with this door, um, whoops, <laughs> I made it uh, kind of like a more modern shop door with a you know, glass door with the push bar on the inside and the handle on the outside. Uh, n nothing real fancy. These awnings I actually duplicated uh, from the other building, slid them over and modified them slightly just so they don't look exactly the same. Um, this detail on the top of the building here was done more or less the same way as this down here. The windows um, Uh, kind of the same way as the window down here. Um, to tell you the truth, I think they might be a little wide. I may go ahead and narrow up those windows. Uh, yeah, I think they're I think they're a little wide, so I'll probably narrow them down. But um, that building, I think, uh, as far as modeling goes, is more or less complete. So let's uh, bring back our whole scene here. Uh, go back into perspective. Whoops. Back into perspective. Let's get back in uh, our our diner here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll pick the table. Uh, focus in on that. So here's what we have basically now from inside uh, the diner. Um, we have some buildings outside that add some interest to the scene. Um, I went ahead and put some temporary uh, just colors on these and this is working out kind of kind of the way I had in mind um, because I want our focus to be you know on this window and specifically on this side of the seat here so uh, a darker color on this building is going to tend to uh, I think de-emphasize uh, this area this blind closed over here is going to de-emphasize that area and our main focus is going to be right here where we want it so I, th I think that is working out pretty well I don't know we may do some adjustments um, but I think uh, the outside buildings are looking pretty good so far um, this is just going to be a short update video uh, in the next video we're going to model uh, some props. Uh, I, I really like this this lamp here. So we might model, um, matter of fact, we're definitely going to model one of those and we'll put it out here in front of this building, probably duplicate it and put another one down here. Um, our street, instead of being just a flat plane, I think we're going to do some very simple, you know, modeling a sidewalk and a curb and a street. Um, just so it doesn't look like everything is sitting just on a flat plane out there. There's, uh, Depending on what view we use, we're more than likely going to see at least the sidewalk and probably part of the curb out there. Once we get that done and a few things put on the table, a flower vase with a flower, maybe some plates, uh, you know, a uh, glass or two, um, we will be ready to start texturing and modeling um, our scene. Now I did um, do a quick just kind of because I was curious I did a quick render with just some basic environmental lighting um, I think I also had freestyle turned on which will outline everything in a black line give it kind of a uh, cell cell shaded look I don't know that we want that in the final render but um, nevertheless that's what I did let me see if it is still saved here I certainly hope so uh, Okay, let's see. Render results. Yeah, there we go. Um, nothing great to look at right now, but um, this is an idea of the view that I was thinking of. Uh, the lighting is terrible. It's a very low resolution render too, so... But uh, right now I'm just looking at kind of the colors. We have our reds going here in the seat in the building and that building is on the red side of the color wheel um, we have a, a kind of greenish blue which is opposite the red and when we do eventually put characters they will be sitting in here and we'll also try to stick with that uh, well I guess we'll stick with the uh, red and bluish color color uh, 
theme for now. Uh, we have the blue awnings back there too. Um, but anyway, I just thought it was uh, interesting to look at kind of uh, a preliminary, very poor render just to get kind of an idea of colors and composition at this point. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, in the next video, we'll model those props and then we'll move on to uh, UV unwrapping, uh, materials, and texturing so we can get some of these things looking, uh, looking more like we want them to look. Alright, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.